which historical factors played a fundamental role in shaping the Rolex brand. How has the Rolex brand influenced culture and society? Do you know where the same Rolex originated? Let's discover the answers to these mysteries in this video. The brand Rolex is recognized as one of the most luxurious and popular watch manufacturers globally. And it's rare to find someone who hasn't heard the melodious Swedish name. Rolex is the most valuable company in the rich watch production industry, transforming into a global and reputable brand through the design of unique products throughout its years of operation. The Rolex logo is designed as a golden crown symbolizing success and excellence. The brand produced the world's first waterproof with swatches and the first watch with automatic date change capability and dual time display, solidifying its status as an enduring brand. It's interesting to note that the company produces approximately 2,000 watches daily and its estimated revenue in 2019 was around $5.2 billion. History of the Rolex brand The Rolex brand was founded in 1905 by Hans Wilsdorf and Alfred Davis. However, the main founder and owner of the Rolex brand is Hans Wilsdorf, born in 1881 in Kolmbach, Germany. In his youth, he lost his parents and had to enter the business world to support himself. Wilsdorf was employed as a translator of the English language at a renowned Swedish watchmaking company when he was 19. This company, located in one of the best regions in Switzerland, was a surgeon and for producing special and high-quality watches, attracting notable figures. Wittsdorf became acquainted with many of them during his time there. After working for several years in watchmaking and becoming familiar with the affluent society, at the age of 22, Wilsdorf traveled to London in 1903. He started working in an elegant watch store and gained various experiences during his two years there. This experience promoted him to think about starting his own business. However, he needed initial capital to launch his business, so he borrowed some money from the husband of his sister, Alfred Davis, and together they established the company Wilstroff and Davis in London. At that time, wristwatches weren't widely popular and people believed that watches were practical for sports and served as a decorative accessory for women. However, this belief gradually faded from people's minds and the wealthy class in society became interested in wearing wristwatches. The initial productions of this company consisted of a men's wristwatch and a high-quality women's pocket watch, simple and basic in functionality. However, Wilsdorf aimed to produce products with higher design and sophistication to attract everyone's attention. Therefore, he decided to equip the internals of his watches using precise and high-quality parts from a Swiss company named Hermann Aigler. For the materials related to the design of the watch bodies and decorations, negotiations were made with a renowned English producer to use silver and gold coatings for decoration and the bodies of their watch. The production line for the company's watches quickly gained momentum with the production of the necessary materials and a variety of formal and sports products were introduced to the market. 
These watches sold rapidly in England and Eastern countries and received a very positive response. Factors such as innovation in design and the introduction of unique watches with attractive features are recognized as the key success factors for the Rolex brand from the past to the present. For this reason, many watchmaking companies imitated the ideas of this brand in their designs. Hence, in 1908, Hans Wilsdorf chose the name Rolex for his company, going through considerable sensitivity to select a name that is easily pronounceable in most languages worldwide and has a short spelling. Eventually, he settled on the name Rolex and officially used it on all his products. In 1910, the Rolex brand unevolved the world's first chronometer certified wristwatch, successfully obtaining the Swiss Chronometric Precision Certificate. Four years later, it also received the Grade A Precision Certificate from the Coup Observatory in Britain. While the brand's headquarters were initially in England, after the end of World War I and the substantial increase in taxes in the country, its headquarters were relocated to Switzerland, continuing its activities in this country. The headquarters, named Montres Rolex SA, was founded in Geneva, Switzerland. However, the London office continued its operation as a subsidiary of this company. After the move to Switzerland, the Rolex brand continued its innovation and introduction of unique products. The majority of brands' fame is due to having powerful and highly accurate movements, particularly during the 1920s and 1930s, considered the decades of growth and progress for the brand. In 1924, Rolex achieved significant success with introduction of the world's first waterproof watch named the Oyster. This waterproof watch had a very thick case that effectively protected the watch movement and prevented water and dust from entering. Following this great success, the iconic Rolex logo. The famous crown was introduced and has been engraved on the dials of all Rolex watches since then. In 1931, the Rolex brand unveiled the Rolex Oyster Perpetual, touted as the world's first automatic watch. In addition to being waterproof, it didn't require a small wedding knob on the side of the watch for manual winding and operated automatically. Some watch experts and industry judges referred to Rolex Oyster watches as the watch of the country following this significant success. In 1945, Rolex introduced another unique product called Datejust. Watch displayed the date on the corner of the watch face. This model was designed for men initially, but due to its exceptional reception, a woman's model was also designed and introduced to the global market. In the subsequent years, Rolex continued its design and introduction of watches with special and unique features. After a while, Rolex watches weren't solely dedicated to displaying time. They had additional functionalities. The advanced wristwatches of this brand were designed for professional activities such as diving initially up to a depth of 100 meters, mountaineering, aviation and exploratory travels, extending beyond daily use, and mere timekeeping. The introduction of the Oyster Perpetual Day Date was with an 18 karat gold coating, the ability to display the date and the complete day of the week. Was another special Rolex watch with the Rolex logo that gained popularity in its time. The founder of the Rolex brand passed away in 1963 after achieving significant successes and improvements, global accomplishments in creating its products. After his death, Henry Hanger took over as the CEO of the company. 
Under Hinger's management, Relix continued its activities and innovations, and its production line remained in operation even during economic recessions. Notable achievements of the brand during Hanger's leadership include the design and production of the Oyster Perpetual Sea Dweller Dive Watch, resistant to water penetration up to a depth of 600 meters, to production of the Explorer Second Watch for explorers and cave researchers, and the subsequent design of another model of the Oyster was equipped with quarters movements were other accomplishments of the brand. The letter had high magnetic resistance and was waterproof up to 50 meters. The production of Rolex watches continued from that time to the present day, being exported not only to Switzerland and London but also to the entire world. Rolex has become a global and reputable brand in the field of watchmaking. The brand currently employs 30,000 staff in its various branches worldwide and is recognized as the most valuable race watch brand with over a century of experience. The story of the Rolex brand has been explored from various perspectives, ranging from its history to technology advertising strategies to cultural influences. We hope this video has helped you gain a deeper understanding and greater awareness of the world beyond just a luxury timepiece. Could you discover the answers to the riddles presented in the first video? Like the video and join us! We'll see you soon in other videos.